Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next question is from where do we get these ingredients of food? So from where do we get the spices? From where do we get the vegetables? From where do we get the rice grains? From where do we get the pulses? So all these things which you, we have used in making the food items. So from where do we get these items? Because we know that how the food is prepared in our kitchen. Our parents or we ourselves will prepare the food. But to prepare that food we need some ingredients like these. So from where do we get those ingredients? So that's the next agenda now. So if you try to look at the sources, the main source from which we receive food, you will see that all food ingredients are obtained from either of these two sources, plants or animals. So either they are obtained from plants. For example, you talk about the vegetables, you talk about the fruits, you talk about the cereals. So all of them are obtained from plants. On the other hand, you think of uh, meat, you think of egg, think of milk. All of these are obtained from animals. So basically, all types of food ingredients are either obtained from plants or from animals. So let us look at both the sources of food one by one. So we will start with plants. So I think with this you got to know that why do we cultivate crops? Why do we have something called agriculture? So when you, especially I mean in the urban areas you don't get to see it much but if you go to the villages you get to see huge stretch of land where uh, crops are being cultivated. You get to see uh, long stretches of paddy fields. So why do we have them? Because we need food. So let's talk about crop cultivation. So what is crop cultivation? I mean, before that, how do we define a crop? What is crop? So crop is a plant that is grown on a large scale commercially. So a plant which we grow in our garden, maybe in a, a small area, we are just growing one tomato plant. So then we call it a plant. But when we grow, say, 10,000 of tomato plants in a huge stretch of land, we do not call it a plant anymore. We call it a crop. So crop is always like huge number of plants which are grown on a large scale commercially for commercial purpose. Obviously, if I'm planting 10,000 uh, tomato plants, that is definitely not for my individual use, right? So that is definitely because I want to sell them. So that's for a commercial purpose. So when so such, so much of uh, so many of plants are being grown on a large scale, that is when we call it as a crop. Okay. Now, why do we cultivate crops? Because everybody needs food. All human beings need food. All animals need food. Every living organism needs food. So we need to grow a huge number of plants, and that is where we talk about crop cultivation. So we also talk about crop yield, that means how much uh, is the production of crop. We talk about crop production practices, how can we improve the production of crops. I, can, I mean how can we increase the production of crops. We also talk about crop improvement, how can we improve the quality of crops. Because these are the crops which are actually going to uh, provide nutrients to our body. So we need to ensure that the quality is maintained, right. Okay. So. So this is from where we get the fruits and vegetables and cereals, whatever we eat in our diet. Now the question is, okay, so we get it, we get all of these from plants. So which part of a plant do we eat? Because when we look at a plant, a plant has fruits, it has flowers, it also has seeds, it has roots, stem, leaves. So there are so many different parts of the plant. You have the roots which are under the ground, you have the stem, the branches, these are the branches, these are the, this is like the main stem, you have flowers, you have fruits, you also have seeds and seeds are present somewhere inside the fruits and the, what are seeds? Seeds are those uh, parts which are capable of giving rise to a new plant. So you would have often seen in your garden that yeah, when you want to plant, grow a new plant, you often make use of seeds and you put the seeds under the soil and then gradually a new plant comes up. So these are all various parts of the plant. Now the question is, when we, when we receive our food items from plants, so which part of the plant are we actually eating? Is it the fruit or is it the seed 
or the root or the stem. So now we will look at various examples of uh, food items which we receive from plants and we will see which part of the plant is that particular food item. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.